Okay. Project, project. Bearings in the hubs went bad on the uh, Saturn. So I'm changing out bearings on them. I got those. And I bought a new set of hubs right here. Hubs, bearings, uh, lowers, and ball joints. I mean, tie rod ends. It's ball joints on the lowers. <clears throat> and I've already changed out the uh, half shafts. And I'm putting a rack and pinion in it as well, right here. Now, those I bought at AutoZone. Uh, well, it cost us 170 or something dollars. I can't remember. Uh, they were roughly eighty dollars a piece, eighty some odd dollars a piece. This right here, I bought this from Detroit Axle online, along with this box here, the rotors, the brakes, and that, and the hubs and the bearings. I got a set of bearings, hubs, and all that. Plus uh, this right here. <clears throat> so I paid seventy-five dollars for that. Uh, rack and pinion AutoZone is 250 bucks and then the guy wanted to charge 250 bucks to install it so huh, that's 500 bucks right there <clears throat> and he wanted to charge $200 to install those right there I said I'd do it all myself yeah alright that's 75 and then I paid for the ball, the lowers, and the tie rod ends, and the uh, hubs, the outer spindle, and the bearings for it. Which this I have to open it up here. That right there. This was like uh, I don't remember. It was about sixty. Nine dollars or forty nine dollars is what it was. It was forty nine dollars, and you get the bearing right here, new clip, and a castle nut. <clears throat> uh, this, the, the two hubs, the bearings, and the uh, lowers and the tie rod ends was forty nine dollars, and then the rotors I paid uh, eighty six or 82 something like that for it and it came with brakes and cleaner and uh, brake fluid <clears throat> and then that big bad boy right there I got a uh, 139 in it and I went and got one and it came in three boxes and out of all three boxes it didn't have the hardware and it had an extra one of these I don't need an extra one of them so I had to go back get the right one and the jack didn't have holes in it to be able to bolt it down so no hardware kit and all that so I went back got another one it came in two boxes and the hardware kit was in the jack uh, so we got $139 tied up in this right here which it would have cost me $100 or 150 to press them bearings out <clears throat> and uh, put new ones in so this here is a hydraulic pump cover and that is the hydraulic pump and little pistons that go down in there I'm gonna use it tomorrow push that bearing down in there uh, that's the old ones right there the old hubs <clears throat> And this is what you look like when you get them out and you clean it up real good. And there it is. The car be have a whole front, brand new front end under it. And, uh, well, it'll last her another two more years easily. This will solve the going through tires every two months situation. But <clears throat> that rack right there, that one was really bad on the driver's side. And the... <clears throat> that lower on the passenger side, that ball joint was going out on it right there. Uh, that one was decent, but it wasn't great. So, 
There you have it, guys. Uh, saving money. Spending money to save money. Um, we'd have spent 150 bucks, and then we'd have had the bearings pressed in, but we wouldn't have had nothing to work with later. It would just keep constantly costing money. So there. That's a cool tool. Peace. Man, any shots, but no, I do the good shit. Bye.